Professor George Gantzias is pleased to have the opportunity to share a few remarks about info communication culture, socio-economical investments and cultural activities in Third International Open Conference, Hellenic Open Business and Public Administration 2016, organized by Hellenic Open University and Hebei University of Economics and Business. The title chosen for his presentation is Info Communication Culture, Socio-Economic Investments and Cultural Activities, The Managing and Financing Model Dynamic Investments of Cultural Activities, Dicker. He is afraid he had to fit rather a lot into his presentation and so some of the arguments are a bit compressed. He has dealt with the development of info communication culture, the public interest, innovation and socio-economical investments within a cultural activity in recent cultural and economic crisis. He has also dealt with the role of info communication culture, the internet, social media and cultural economy. So he would like to spend a bit more time to explain about the model which called dynamic investments of cultural activities, Dicker, and the three prolonged action program, that is the dynamic action of cultural activities investment, DACI. In addition, he analyzes info communication culture, info communication globalization, info communication cultural landscape and cultural patterns of cultural economy. Finally, he would like to outline the relationships between the Dickers Four Drivers and the Three Prolonged Action Program DACI to develop socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. He pointed out that digitization of cultural activities empowers citizens visitors consumers to have access anywhere and anytime. Within this context new cultural patterns of cultural economy are, first, consumerism, signified by brands refers to an info-communication culture of consumerism which is directly related to the formation of global capitalist markets. Most countries now live under capitalism, a sharing of market values and consumer culture. Second, networked individualism, refers to a set of info-communication values and beliefs that gives priority to the satisfaction of individual needs and desires. Third, cosmopolitanism, ideological, political, or religious, refers to a small but influential minority of people, there is a consciousness of the shared destiny of the planet we inhabit, be it in terms of the environment, human rights, moral principles, global economic interdependency or geopolitical security. Fourth, multiculturalism, refers to the existence of a multicultural global cultural characteristics by hybridization and a remix of cultures from different origins as in the diffusion of hip-hop music in an adapted version or remixed videos that populate YouTube. Fifth, communalism, refers to a set of info-communication norms, values and beliefs that place the common good over the individual satisfaction of its members on the basis of public interest principles. The above cultural patterns, broadband networks, multifunctional infocom devices, that is mobile phones, tablets, PCs, etc and infocommunication culture have been caused of the emergence of digitized cultural activities, by producing cultural activities digital content identity via smartphone anytime, anywhere, by everybody. It is naive to think otherwise in infocommunication globalization. Within this context, socio-economic investments within a cultural activity depend on satisfaction of investors' needs and desires, understating info-communication culture and supporting public interest principle of cultural economy. In a world of change, info-communication culture does not emerge passively, at random. Info-communication culture develops out of digital technology and of people doing things together because of a collective need of share passion in a democracy of collective will, DCW. The digital process of culture develops out of info-communication industry in a democracy of collective will when people interact together on physical and digital platforms by finding ways to play, produce and share together, and to negotiate differences to create share meanings of cultural activities. Professor Gatzias pointed out that, Infocommunication culture is at the heart of Europe's identity and cultural investment policy. For example, the European Cultural Days of the European Central Bank ECB, provide an opportunity to celebrate this unity in diversity. 
The European Union EU, has its foundations in shared ideas and values, while also being home to a rich and varied array of cultures, made up of the traditions of the individual countries and regions. The mission of the European Cultural Days fully meets this aim. Working together to enhance awareness of a country's cultural heritage that is part of our routes and our identity offers a good opportunity to educate and prepare future generations, who will have a key role in strengthening cohesiveness and community spirit and in deciding the way in which the European institutions will develop. The European Central Bank organizes the Cultural Days together with the National Central Bank of the featured country and with the support of its many partners, who are committed to promoting European socio-economic investment within a cultural activity. Making Europe's info communication culture visible that is high-quality artistic performances, ranging from music, dance and theatre to art lectures and exhibitions, literary events and films, as well as events for children. He also pointed out, that info-communication culture is the driving force to socio-economic investments and the digitization of cultural activities. Within this context socio-economic investments are subject to, first, info-communication content ICC. Digital content such as cultural data will be dispersed across an info-communication landscape, that is in cultural organizations, cloud computing providers, third parties, and others. The DICA model will establish public interest principles and effectively best practice rules for transparency, reliability, accountability in order to monitor socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. Second, Info Communication Services ICS. The cultural activities network infrastructure is likely to improve distribution of services by improving cultural activities management and financial systems, including faster and lower cost geographical expansions. Moreover, it will introduce mobile applications and social media networks to develop cultural activities systems both locally and globally. The DICA model will set up info communication networks which empower cultural managers to develop a roadmap to manage and to finance effectively cultural activities in recent crisis. Third, Info Communication Customers Behavior ICCB. Internet of Things, cloud computing services and mobile applications are placing cultural activities on the info communication cultural landscape. Digital cultural activities are a reality in our everyday life. They enable cultural managers to track and analyze everything from keystrokes to customers' behavior towards digitized content and services of cultural activities. This brings opportunities for introducing the DICA model in order to develop more sophisticated digitized best practice mechanism and mobile applications to monitor and evaluate socio-economic investments within a cultural activity successfully. Fourth, Info Communication Investments ICI. Organizing the info communication investment process can greatly influence cultural activity overall success and quality. In this work, we need to consider info communication cultural activities, those that digitalized by using information and communication technologies, ICT, tools and socio-economic investments within a cultural activity those that lead to financial relationships between cultural managers, visitors and investors to reinforce cultural economy in a world of change. The above info communication factors are important to the digitization process of cultural activities which involves activities in one or more of the following areas of concern, first, digital preservation of cultural activities, preservation by converting real, physical cultural activities into digital format, for example the preservation of cultural activities are increasingly produced, distributed, accessed and maintained in digital form, creating a new legacy, cultural activities in the info communication landscape. Second, digital dissemination of cultural activities. The dissemination process of cultural activities by using the internet, social media, cloud computing, broadband networks, that is the content of cultural activities is digital. For example, dissemination of cultural activities can be aimed at global distribution by using websites, social media, mobile phones and cloud computing in an info-communication globalization. Third, 
digital services of cultural activities. The digital creation of services in cultural activities involves functions which can convert the real, physical form of cultural activities into digital format. For example, the introduction of the infocommunication services of cultural activities to activate, engage, and transform cultural activities into digital formats is part of the process for creating cultural activities in the infocommunication cultural landscape. According to Professor Gatsias the infocommunication cultural landscape ICCL, is a type of digital space which consists of infocommunication culture, cloud computing services, Internet of Things, the multifunctional infocommunication devices, all type of mobile phones, computers, tablets, PCs, etc., and broadband networks in which all national economic, cultural and political systems become open, transparent, reliable and accountable to infocommunication investment mechanisms. In addition all national state systems need to behave according to the logic of multicultural public interest principles of cultural economy both globally and locally. With this context, infocommunication globalization is a type of globalization which is defined digitization of cultural activities by the internet participation, the infocommunication culture, socio-economic investments, the net generation, the infocommunication cultural landscape and infocommunication investment impact factors and multicultural public interest principles of cultural economy in which all cultural activities become open, transparent, reliable and accountable. The infocommunication platforms, social media and mobile applications are offering access to a vast array of information, text and audiovisual material and given people an infocommunication public sphere ICPS, to share and exchange ideas, and to collaborate on projects together. Humans gained a huge evolutionary advantage when we developed infocommunication cultural memory systems ICCMS, such digitized writing and drawing giving as a digital weight to record, share and manipulate ideas. Moreover, infocommunication cultural activities networks ICCAN, can be seen as huge networks of individuals participating and interacting with vast amount of material in these digital storage systems of books, films and archives. Therefore, in order to create socio-economic investments within a cultural activity need innovative models such as the DICA together with dynamic research programs such as the three-pronged action program DACI. Professor Gatsias introduce a new model for monitor and evaluating socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. According to the model DICA, the four drivers, which they contribute to develop socio-economic investments within a cultural activities, are, first, identity process, IDP, the process of creating the specific identity of cultural activity by planning, organizing, implementing monitor and evaluating socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. Second, innovation process, INP, the process of using digital technologies and applications to manage and promote cultural activities that is infocommunication platforms for cultural activities to manage digital content, to develop mobile applications and to create global and local infocommunication networks. Third, global impact factor of cultural activities investment process, GIFCAPE, the process evaluates the local touch with global reach socio-economic investments within a cultural activity by setting up an index of local and global impact factors about competitive and comparative advantages. The index of GIFCAPE consists of, a, global and local public interest factor, GLPIF, b, identity factor, IDF, c, Innovation Factor, INF, D, Infocommunication Culture Factor, ICCF, D, Global and Local Growth of Cultural Production Factor, GLGCPF. Fourth, Public Interest Process, PIP, the process of establishing transparency, reliability and accountability of socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. The model shows that the socio-cultural investments within a cultural activity are created, first when there are infocommunication applications and platforms, to develop a digitalized cultural activity, innovation process, second, 
when there is local touch with Global Reach Impact Factor Index to invest in a cultural activity, Global Impact Factor of Cultural Activities Investment Process, and third, when there is a regulation policy which supports the public interest principles of cultural economy to encourage socio-economic investments within a cultural activity, public interest process, and fourth, where there is a specific identity to support completive and comparative advantages of a cultural activity, identity process. Finally, these four drivers are subject to creating, managing, investing and sharing cultural activities content as a cultural capital in a world of change. Within this context people participating in cultural activities and interacting to learn and form meaning together. He pointed out that it is very difficult to activate sustainable socio-economic investments nowadays due to the lack of socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. Therefore, the introduction of a three-pronged action program which called Dynamic Action of Cultural Activities Investment DACI, is important to activate socio-economic investments within a cultural activities. The diagram shows that the three-prolonged action program DACI, consisted of, first of cultural activity production CAP. This action program aims to create a clear identity of cultural activity both globally and locally by using digital technologies, mobile applications, info communication platforms, social media networks, digital content and digital currency. The CAP can attract a socio-economic investment to develop cultural activity. The objective of this action program is to set up an info communication production process to create a cultural activity product to satisfy visitors, cultural managers and investors and at the same time to be compatible with the public interest principles of cultural economy. Second, Process of Cultural Activity PCA. This action program aims to organize a strategy, implementation criteria and evaluation system to process cultural activities as valuable investment in cultural economy. The PCA creates a target socio-economic investment program to identify a. global and local impact factors of cultural activities, b. public interest principles of cultural economy, c. competitive advantages of cultural activities and d comparative advantages of cultural activities in a world of change. Third, Cultural Activity Investment Plan GAPE. This action program aims to introduce a global impact factor of cultural activities investment GIFCI, which monitor and evaluate the local touch with global reach value of cultural activities in recent crisis. The CAPE is using DICA's three axes to evaluate cultural activities with local touch and global reach investment. Professor Gatsias points out that both the three prolonged action program DACI and the DICA model for monitor and evaluate socio-economic investments within a cultural activity are important methodological tools in managing and financing cultural activities. Within this context the DICA model asserts that in order for a target socio-economic investment to occur, a cultural manager must understand, first, how to create cultural activity as an info communication product, and second, how to use the evaluation global impact factor index that is GIFCI to value socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. Furthermore, the DICA axes define a cube-shaped probability space, where a local touch with global reach identity, suitable innovation, and effective public interest principles of cultural activities have a positive or negative impact on the investment. Within this context, the white spot in the upper right-hand corner of the cube represents the maximum likelihood that the investment will occur. The model assumes that a high level of IDP, a highly appropriate INP, and highly effective PIP, are necessary for the expected target socio-economic investment to occur, and that the investment does not occur and it is not possible to monitor and to evaluate by GIFCI mechanism when more than one of these drivers is missing. Finally, the figure presents the three basic factors that, when taken together, can make cultural activities more valuable as a socio-economic investment in cultural economy. Cultural activities, which have been active in Greece and Europe for nearly two centuries, have been managed and financed in many countries through specific socio-economic forms. 
The label that is used to refer to these socio-economic investments within a cultural activity is the cultural economy of info-communication cultural activities Sayaka, a term that stresses the special attention not only to the info-communication culture but also to the model of managing and financing cultural activities Dika and the Three Prolonged Action Program DACI. In recent crisis investors should be able to have practical solutions to the following question. Why should global or local investors seriously consider financing cultural activities by taking into consideration the DICA model and the three prolonged action program DACI? In conclusion, Professor Gatsi has pointed out that the DICA model together with the three prolonged action program DACI, provides a new way of setting up a global and local impact factor index to monitor and evaluate socio-economic investments within a cultural activity that is GLIFCI. Therefore, the activation processes of the three prolonged action program DACI are probably give investors, first, flexibility of their socio-economic investments, the ability to develop info-communication investment tools to finance cultural activities with local touch and global reach impact, that is info-communication investments platforms, mobile applications monitor cultural activities, social media model to promote cultural activities content, and others. Second, scalability of their socio-economic investments, the ability to use a global impact factor index that is GLIFCI as methodological tool to monitor and to evaluate socio-economic investments within a cultural activity. Third, survivability, their socio-economic investments, the ability to monitor and evaluate the digital preservation of cultural activities in a world of change, 